Start by saying Baruch Atah Yahweh, Baruch Atah Yahweh, Ba'ashem, 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 Welcome to another live lesson. The name of this one is called, you know, Come On, Captain Zayat. You know, and pretty much this is based off of a video that's been circulating around that brothers have been doing videos on. And it seems like the only people or the only group out there that gets on these individuals out here is the Great Millstone whenever they go off on something, you know. Nobody else seems to want to, you know, take up that gauntlet, so to speak, you know, or, or be in that so-called bad light, you know, because, you know, we just, we're the bad guys, you know. But you need bad guys like us, you know. But um, anyway, with all jokes aside, um, Captain Tazariak uh, was being interviewed at a cookout by Sanetta, and uh, pretty much, um, he was asked, what is a MOTB, but he spelled it out. And um, Captain Bizarrek said that, you know, he started going into this whole rant about stats and about, you know, your mind and things that you, the way you're brought up and things that you say. I mean, I'm just merely paraphrasing. I'm not saying it verbatim how he said it, you know, but he said, you know, when you... Uh, how did he say? It says when you uh, when you read the law, or when you go into the law, it says you no. Know, when you when you go to the Bible, it says that the law is supposed to be as a sign on your arm, right? And he said that mm -hmm. doesn't mean that it's written, you know, on on your arm. The law is not written on your arm. Now, if he knew, if he really was deep. Or deep, you know, because he studies. But if he was really deep, I mean, that is scriptural. Because when you go to Deuteronomy 6, somebody get Deuteronomy okay. 6 and 4. Let's start off there. Come. Okay. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 4. It says, uh, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Right, this is where you get the Shema, Yasha Allah, Yahweh Allah, Yahweh Yahweh Allah, You know, you got it. And thou shalt love the Lord Yahweh with thy power, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Right. And if, you know, you're supposed to meditate on them, go into them, read them, bring them out. Because remember, the, the priest would bring out the law and would, and would read it to the whole congregation of Israel. Right? Go ahead. And, and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. And this, pretty much, this scripture here is where they get the uh, term phylactery from. Mm -hmm. When we read the New Testament, which Lord, we're going to get to that. But let's continue on, because there's another word in the Old Testament that's synonymous with the word phylactery in the New Testament. You got it? And shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, mm -hmm. and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Right, and that's one of the um, breakdowns of Judges, the fifth chapter, where it says, you know, they shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Rehearsing the righteous acts means, you know, telling or retelling the things that the Lord has done out of the law, but also, you know, um, doing the things that mm -hmm. are contained within the law practicing and putting them into practice like we keep the Passover we keep the high holy days we keep the Sabbath you know we wear beards on our face we wear fringes on the garments of our you know the borders of our garments so on and so forth go ahead come yeah no, it, no, no yeah cause I was thinking uh, it's, it's like uh, like for plays they have rehearsal uh, the re rehearsal recitals so right. you're, you're trying to the best of your ability to get it down perfect although it won't be perfect until that, that final set you know? that's right and that's that's the practice that you put it into use as a practice until the day when it comes time to actually do the actual performance. You know, you got it. Come, verse 8. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, mm -hmm. and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. Was that the end of the 8th verse? Come. Okay, so somebody look up the word frontlets. And then somebody can get the one in Matthew 23, you know, where I spoke of the Howard Shadows Christian and Pharisees out. In the Strong's? Yes. All right, come. It says, uh, bands, phylacteries, frontlets, marks. Uh, what else? Is there anything else? It says, uh, <laughs> the forehead, uh, uh, 
it's a, a fillet for the forehead. Yeah, that's what it's saying Bam, here. Yeah. Right. Which is what? Which is where they read it. Read it. Come on. Okay. This is a, a, the Hebrew child lexicon for that, right? It says, especially worn by the Jews at prayer, scrolls of parchment with sentences written on them out of the law of Moses. Right. And these were some of the laws that were put in that, you know, that, that, that thing that they put on their forehead. Box. And then they wrap it in a box and then they wrap it around their head and they wrap it around their arm. Mm -hmm. they, it actually had words written yeah. within it. So those frontlets so were, were actual, were, were real. The, the frontlets were actually written, the written law, you know, in the scriptures, you know. Can I, if, I, if I can... Yeah, yeah, bring it up. Yeah, yeah. Con, yeah, because uh, even in the beginning of that verse, it says, "And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand." And when you go into uh, um, that part, "thou shalt bind them," it goes back into saying tie physically. You know, it says to bind or to tie together physically. Right. Because you know? he he's saying it's a spiritual thing, which this is actually a, a physical thing that we're reading about. And it's also spiritual because we put it into rehearsal. You know, we, we study it to, so it could be inside of our minds. But these frontlets were actual physical things that were actually worn on the forehead and wrapped around your arm. Right? Which we're going to go back to Deuteronomy 6. But what I want to do is go to Matthew, the 23rd chapter. We're going to read that and then we're going to get the word phylactery in the blue letter. You know, to show you that. See, he was doing a whole lot of filibustering. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day... You know, he's trying to sound deep, but really, he's not really answering the question. He's pretty much avoiding the question. Then he ends it off by saying, well, you know, I'm not going to take the micro trip, but, you know, that's not the MOTB. Right. But why don't you tell your listeners not to take it either? You know what I mean? Because as a shepherd, you're supposed to warn the people. There's danger coming. And this danger that's coming, you're supposed to be a shepherd that lead them as to what to do to make the right decisions, give, give them the right understanding, so when the time comes, they either make the right understand, the right choice, or the wrong choice. Uh, you know, why not just tell them what it is. That's it. That's Instead it. Just beating around the bush. Tell them what it is. Warn them, and, and, and you know, that's stop it. trying to sugarcoat it. You yep. know, and, and tell you something that it ain't. You know, that's what these other camps are doing. Right. Not make it ambiguous. Uh, you know, you you you're here. It is. You're guessing at what the uh, the the uh, MOTB might be well they say it's not this but they say it's spiritual so you're going to confuse the people so when they do bring it out just like with the jab people took it because they trusted in you which is that's their fault curse be he that trusted the man and make his arm his flesh you know you're supposed to have the, the the sense of not just following behind somebody you're supposed to be able to go out there and search it out so that you can know for yourself that this is the right thing you're doing Scriptures say that every man before they persuade it in his own mind. You know, that means you will have to take in what the information that's given to you from the teacher that you're listening to and go back and search it out to see if it's actually true what they're saying. You yeah, I got something real quick. It's in Matthew 5 and 37. It says, But let your communication be yeah, yeah, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these coming from of evil. You know, so shit, there's no gray area. It's right. Yes or no. Same with the, uh, you know, see him. You know, it's it's this. It's not maybe spiritual. Right. Not it's this. It's, it's, it is to see him, and that's it. Right. You know, it, it, like you said, you ain't gonna have anybody else guessing. There's no gray area. That's it. You know, you know and then, and then you have see you're you're this individual, Captain Tazaria. He's done much research. He's done you know debates. He's gone into books and different history and different scriptures where he can go and and prove somebody wrong so he it's not that he lacks the ability to do the research you know but and he's wise enough to know that that it is the the, the michael c hip but he's not going to say that because his leader didn't say that and this is where you're at fault there because your leader is going to be judged and you're going to be judged because you follow behind him the blind lead the blind they shall both fall into a ditch you know you got y'all got it this is uh, the book of uh, 2 Peter, chapter 2 and verse 1. But there were false prophets also among the people. Beautiful. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. Right. Now, how do you tell a false prophet? Scripture. How do you tell a false... How do you 
discern or weigh out who a false prophet is and who's a, a, the right prophet. It according to this word, there's no lying. Beautiful. That's one. That's Isaiah 820. You can yep. bring that one out. Precept upon precept. Yep. That's good. Yep. There's a main one I'm thinking about. I know there's a uh, first John four chapter. That's it. Boom. Okay. Uh, you bring it out. Yep. This is uh, first John four and one. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of the most high. Because many false prophets are going out into the world. So the Bible is the measuring stick to everything. And if the man would take the time to research, you know, the word M-A-R-K in Revelation 13, and not just go by the English word, but go to the Greek, he would be able to see that, that it goes into something deeper than, than just, you know, uh, 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 accepting it in your mind and then, you know, putting your hand to do whatever as it being part of your hand. You know, he would know that, well, the imprint, something that's imprinted. And there's even one word that uses the word graven in uh, Acts 17, which goes back to the word karatma. How do you engrave a, a, uh, uh, an idol? You got to take a chisel and cut into that idol, whether it's stone, whether it's a, a, a wood, or whatever the case may be, to shape it and mold it. So that same tool that's used to shape that is the same thing that's used to insert the uh, that device into a, into a person. And the thing that they never usually touch on, which they're trying to go into it now, is the part about buying and selling with this particular uh, M A R K. Mm -hmm. They don't touch that. You know? Yeah. yeah they, they don't touch on the grievous sore either. Oh well, you that's know. you know, y'all y'all got it. You know. That's, that's the spirit. Nah, because I was literally just uh, thinking about that. Right, because you go into that grievous sore, it says what? It says an ulcer. And then you look up ulcer, what does it say? It says something that's caused by being pricked in the flesh or pricked in your skin. Right. So it's showing you this is as the result of something physically being put into your body. You know? Right. Because it's a foreign body. Anything that's foreign to the body and the body does not recognize, it immediately attacks. Yeah. You know, because it wants to expel it out. Huh. And the elder Dimash is the expert. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it wants to expel it out. Right. And that's why it sends antibodies and the white cells and, you know, you get those pusses and, you know, that pus and all that's a, a mechanism to try to clean whatever uh -huh. problem is going on there. Right. Mechanism. right. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't put the right stuff over it, it's going to it's gonna uh, get worse and worse. You know? So. Yeah. But I could uh, go back to that, Peter? Yes. Come is, uh, back in uh, Second Peter chapter and we know it, it doesn't have to be a super long drawn out you know lesson because the point is there the MOTB is the micro CF if by now you don't see it you ain't gonna see it because at the end of the day you have you know slicksters out there you know with the titles of bishop and general that are playing now and talking about the the digital system that's coming even though they deny it's the micro CF they talk about the digital system that's coming into play because they know, they, they can be, they slick enough to know that if they don't uh, uh, speak about it, it's, it's coming. Whether they speak about it or not. So to get ahead of the game, that's, that's the spin. You know, spin, uh, spin Master Scott. Yeah. Well, that's like what you've been mentioning with, um, with uh, Nate over at IUIC. Here it is. They weren't talking about the CBDCs right. and all this. And now all of a sudden they're trying to tied into it. All right, there is going to be this technology and everything like that, but that's these different guys because at the end of the day, prophecy is undefeated. Mm -hmm. These things are going to come. So when they come, they have to say something at that point to their congregation. That's right. So that's why they're trying to tie into it now. And it was the same thing they was doing during uh, 70 AD. Mm -hmm. When you read in the Josephus, it talks about how those Romans was paying off Israelite uh, teachers, leaders, to get the people to run to the temple when they came in with the slaughter. But the point being is that they were paying off these different individuals to teach those lies so that they can trust in it. They mm -hmm. were telling them that, you know, you're going to get defended from God, right. you know, from heavens and everything like that. But it's the same thing that's happening in, in this time period. Yeah, they got to come up with those lies. Yep. Yep. Niggas are wicked. Yep. Right. Because, like, if you really, that proves them niggas are just niggas. Like, for you, like, you know you're an Israelite. You know the name of the Lord and the Son. And, and, and then you just going to fucking... Uh, 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 Teach lies yep. for money for fucking like the Bible say, filthy lucre say. That's right. Fuck that. I, I got a nice house. I got money. I'm a millionaire. 
know, then like them niggas in the back of their mind, they gotta know the Lord gonna kill me, but they don't care. They got so many demons on them. They really don't believe in the truth. It's just a way to make money. That's it. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Uh, like, like, uh, fuck that, yeah, I, 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 I'm doing me. Yeah. Because yeah. them niggas don't really believe, Yohanna and Nate don't believe in the truth. No. Well, it's a, it's a gospel according to them. You know, if they don't sanction it, never mind what the scriptures say, if they don't sanction it, then you can't teach it. You know, yeah. and the scriptures tell, tell us to be Berean minded pretty much. You know, and that's how you, you can, you know, you know, that, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's how you can right. tell or discern to water who's teaching the truth and who's not. Look, man, fuck you, Jennifer Johanna, fuck you, Nate. And you Sakari niggas, fuck you too. Alright? I said it. Now go ahead and do a, the Sakari niggas, go ahead and do a 50 part video on me. Whatever you want to fuck you niggas, man. But you know what, man? A lot of them guys in your congregation gonna wake up. Mm -hmm. Fuck you niggas, man. Fuck yeah. you. If yeah. you niggas see me anywhere, come on. Fuck about none of you niggas, man. I'm just a lock here, bro. Yeah, no, no, it's all right, Pastor. You know, I want some other shit right now. You know, hey, the Lord. I'm gonna... scared of none of you niggas, man. Hey, the I'm Lord. ready to go out. You niggas see me? Yeah, come on, let's go, nigga. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, the Lord said he's gonna he's gonna bring that protection. You know. <laughs> They, they, they ain't been, they no, so like it, man. I'm getting a little con over. Nah, it's alright, Pastor. We understand. You know? Any of you niggas see me somewhere, roll up on me, man. See what happens. Hey, there ain't gonna be no talking. There ain't, ain't gonna be no, but that's debating or not, nigga. That's just go. We going. I'm always ready, nigga. It's a lot. Nah, hey, Pastor. It's a lot, bro. I ain't trying to give you yeah. brothers that, but I'm just talking. You know? But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But at the end of the day, the Lord is going to make, make everything, you know, he's going to put that. He, didn't he tell Jeremiah, I'll make you a brazen wall? You know, so they ain't going to be able to come, they're not going to be able to penetrate that protection. You know, regardless. You know, the Lord said when an enemy shall come in, that means anyone that's an enemy, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up and stand it against them. You know, they ain't going to be able to penetrate the Lord. You might do whatever you want to do to men, but you ain't going to be able to penetrate the defense of the Lord. Right. You know, because you ain't going to get past it. Right. Period. <laughs> you ho-ass niggas, you man. Know, nothing you could do. Hey, you Captain Zazaria, you a ho-ass nigga, man. You know? And hey, there's, there's, you got Judas goats out there. Sellouts for money. You know? And it's evident. You can see it. But hey, you read the scripture in Peter. You know, you can read that again. It's 2 Peter 3. Kind of, kind of. This is uh, 2 Peter uh, 2. I'm oh, sorry, 2. Yeah. This is 2 Peter 2 and 1. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. So that goes back to... So I, no, you got it. Well, that goes back to what you were saying. Like, they're trying to twist it. You know, it's it's like they they, they throwing it in there, the congregation hearing it. Like, okay, that, that sound right. But that's why we got to go search the scriptures. Like, we read in that... Uh, First John, man. Yeah. You know, going back to see, like, all right, is this correct? And you got a lot of, like, Apostle Bar always mentions, man, you can't be lazy minded. You got a lot of these different individuals in these different congregations that's just hearing it. They're not picking up the scriptures at all to go into it, to read into it, you know? But that's ultimately the Lord, man, blocking yeah. them from receiving it. It's going to lead to their destruction. Yeah. Now, I was going to say, how you get around where the scripture says no man should buy or sell? And then, so how do you explain that and say that's anything else besides what it is? It's, it's the RFID chip, that's it, man. All that running around they doing with saying this and that, it, it don't even add up to the scripture, you know? Fuck you, Captain Zazaria. Captain Crunch. Fuck you, Captain Crunch. Nigga, you look like Captain Crunch. Man. You big fucking Captain Crunch looking nigga, man. Fuck you, dude. Got no respect for you. Hey. General Yohanna, told me he told you niggas to take the jab. Yeah. I'm healthy. Nigga, General Yohanna looking like Big Shirley. I'm healthy, son, nigga. Look at me. Yeah, now I'm going to start getting at you niggas again, man. See?
fuck you. Fuck you, man. Okay? Fuck all you guys, man. And you know what, man? I don't care about you guys, man. See? I got nothing to lose, bro. I got nothing to fucking lose. Fuck you niggas, man. Go ahead, bro. All right, so lock it, man. Ah, uh -huh, Apostle. It's all right. So, you said you got more? Uh, just in that verse. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, uh, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. And I looked at the word privately. It says craftily. Right. right. You know? What's so, it secretly? Yeah. Craftily, secretly. And they're going to, you know, because of their status and the people trusting them, they're going to be able to manipulate, you know, and, and spin. Like, you, you, we seen the spin doctor himself, you know, spinning his web. You know, and the simple that, oh, wow, that was deep. No, it wasn't deep. You know, he just, he just spoke in, uh, in circles. And you just, he, you, got, you got, you know, dizzy. And you believe what he, the bullshit that he gave you. But he still didn't explain the part about buying and selling. You know, he still didn't, you know, he, he even cut himself with the, with the uh, scripture he quoted in the law. But he didn't quote this because he said it's the sign, the law is a sign. It's not something that's written. Yes, it is something that's written. If you want to get technical, you got it. It says, uh, who proudly shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, right. and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Right, and not just because you call on the name Yahweh Shai, it means you're going to, you know, make it. You know, because you have false prophets out there calling on the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. You know, so let's get that one, the phylactery one, you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah we'll, and then we'll get the, the, the Greek on that. You know, then I know y'all brothers have some other lessons y'all wanted to go into. I just wanted to get that point out and whatever else y'all brothers got. And let's hit it. It's uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 23 and verse 5. Mm -hmm. For all their works they do for to be seen of men. Right. They make broad, they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. You like Nate? Yep, that's it. One of them fancy-ass garments <laughs> rolling, rolling up on My their horse. Passover with the, on the Christ. white horse. Yep. Nigga, you don't even know how to ride the horse. Yep. You're two Edomites in the presence of the Passover. You, you're yeah. black, yeah. fucking Baron Samedi looking ass. Can't ride a horse. You fucking piece of shit, you. That's right. when I read it. You, now, bro, I'm upset, man. Mm. You brothers don't understand some shit. We know these niggas, man. Yeah. Don't you understand that yeah, shit? Yeah. No, you actually ran into them. You know, I saluted you. I know these motherfuckers, man. man. We go back to the one west again, the Hunter and they, we know these niggas, man. I know these motherfuckers. Just like how I know I know these dudes. You understand? Especially Nick. You know, there was a time I loved the shit out of Nick, man. You know? Me and the boss of the bar to always love that nigga, man. Like that was that Nate, you know, Nathaniel, or whatever. His name used to be Nathaniel Alaga. That was his name. Right? And, but, like, there was a time, man, we loved the shit out of Nate, man. I loved that dude like a brother. Yeah. You know? Yep. But, like, like, like he, when he started going off, it's like, fuck you, man. You understand? Like, we loved the shit out of Nate at one time, man. You know? We take this shit serious, man. You know? Apostle Taha loved Nate. We loved this nigga at one time. And then there was a time where we was hoping maybe he would, you know, he would repent and he would change. But he just, and it, it seemed like he was. It seemed he like sick, he was. He came out of it, but then he went right back to where but he was. But he went deeper. Yeah. I ran into him a few years ago. Me, I like, went to, you know? And like that. And when I ran into him, because I had a dream that I, he came up to the camp, and I, you know, and I saluted him, and, and we were cool. And then shortly after that, that's when I ran into Nate. I actually saw him. And I told Nate about the dream. I was like, hey, brother, you know, and it happened just the way, you know, the dream went down. Excuse me. You know what I mean? And I was hoping after that, then shortly after that, maybe he would, but he went worse after that. So that was the Lord, you know, like, yeah. showing this thing that just ain't right. Excuse me, you know what so I mean? He had that dream, too, that he lost the oil in the dream. Mm -hmm. You know, and he got the oil back at the end of the dream. So. And all them idiots following him, man, fuck them. 
And then now the Lord got them feuding with each other. General Yahana and they. That's the Lord. Oh, man. That's the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord did that. You know what I mean? Did you read that part about the philosophy again? Oh, oh and, I, and Lord willing, I'm going to do a video on it. Um, like when I was coming back from up top, I ran into the elder Ash. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. From HODC, the House of David. And I know them. I came up under him. And uh, been, the, the, I spoke the, the spirit had I ran into the elder Ash. You know, you know, the House of David camp. And those are beautiful brothers, man. Like, you know, I, 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 say, I said things about them in the past, but them brothers are pretty much on the right track, man. And, you know, Ash, we, we drove the train from New York to Chicago together. The short brothers, Marshall and Elder Ash. I got his number. I'm going to keep in touch with him. And, you know, that was the spirit of the Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, the Elder Ash, you know, from HODC, you know? And I spoke to the elder Ben on the phone, and it was beautiful, man. It was like, hey, man, you know, it was all love, you know? So, you know, I just wanted to put that out. Lord willing, I'm going to do a video on it, you know? But them brothers, man, like them brothers, like you said, Papa, they stuck with King Masha to the end, too, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So I believe those brothers are men of the Lord, you know? Yeah, because I did a video where I, I was cursing all them guys out, me and all, you know, them other rebel baits, and I even cursed HUBC out. For the sake of King Masha, but I forgot that they actually were there with him to the end because they actually buried the king. Yeah. You know? So then I had to do another video apologizing because I, I totally honestly forgot about them. You know, so I did do a video and apologize to them brothers because they were there with him. Now yeah. you know they got some stuff that they're teaching us off. There's one individual that was teaching about the book of Jubilee, which the most I brought him back in the spirit world. So that element hopefully it's going out of out of that congregation. You know, there's a few things that they they gotta, you know, go back to the drawing board on, but for the most part they teach about the M O T B being a Michael yep. C head. Yep. They teach that Cornelius and I don't know if they teach about Cornelius is an Israelite by now. I believe they do. I know they were they were, you know, looking into it or whatever it, it was, however they said it, but you know, they pretty much teach most of the things that we teach also. Yeah. So I say shalom to the H O B C House of David camp. Shalom to the brothers, man. Hey, man, we praying for you, brothers, man. Come, come. So let's get that point, and then, like I said, we go wrap it up. And I know your brother said that on some other stuff. Come, just in the back of the Matthew twenty-three, the Greek word for phylacteries, but a biblical use. Which, which the this. Hebrew, I mean, this uh, word in the English, phylactery, and the Greek go back to the word we read in the Hebrew, the uh, frontlets. You know, it's the same concept. You know, with the written law, there were certain scriptures that were written, and, you know, when you read it, like Deuteronomy 6, where it says, everywhere you see the word frontlets, those precepts, they were saying, though, those were inside of that actual box that you wore around your head. And then the, the, uh, the, the uh, string would wrap around and wrap around your left arm. You know, because it was part of your mind and a part of your, you know, you know on, on your heart. You know, they have it on the left hand side. You know, so, but it was an actual physical thing. You got it. A uh, Greek word for lactarion and uh, a biblical use definition. It says a preservation or a safeguard, a amulet. The Jews used this word to describe small strips of parchment on which were written the following passage of the law of Moses. Exodus 13, 1 through 10, Exodus 11, Deuteronomy 6 and 4, Deuteronomy 11. Right. And, and you could and you could go back and, and read those on, on, you know, on your own. You got it. And which enclosed in small cases. <laughs> they were accustomed when engaged in prayer to wear fastened by a leather strap to the forehead and to the left arm over against the heart. In order that they might thus be solemnly reminded of duties of the duty of keeping the commandments of God in the head and in the heart. Right. And then when you go back to Deuteronomy 6, when you're reading that, you'll actually put, write those laws also on the gates of your house. Mm -hmm. So those were physical. To, so even in what he said, he cut himself. You know, but hey, it is what it is. You know, at this point, those individuals out, out there of you that can't get it, that the MOTB is a micro C hip, you're going to lose because everything is heading in that direction. You know, you let yourself be manipulated by them wolves, or well, guess what? The Lord gave you over to that reprobate mind. You know? Now, those of you that can see, 
our suggestion to you is get the hell away from them guys. Because the Lord said that my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. You know, so either you're going to get with the program of the Lord and you're going to get away from them wolves or you're going to follow them and fall right into the same ditch they're going to fall. You're going to be chipped and dipped. That's it. You're going to be chipped and dipped. Because if you take it, we already know that if you take the micro C head, which is an MOTB, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to burn in the lake of fire here in America. You know, so it behooves you to listen. It behooves you to study. It behooves you, if you see what's going on, to get the hell away from them individuals like that. Yeah. You don't. That's right. And that's on you. The blood is off of our hands. We done told you, you know, like the Apostle Paul said, I am clean from the blood of all men. Because we, we didn't shun to tell you everything. Even when, when we were being, you know, demonized heavily, we still told you what the Scripture said. You know, now it's up to you, to, you know, you either you get it or you don't. If the Spirit is with you, the Lord is with you, you're going to get it. If He's not, you're not going to get it, period. You know? So anybody got any other? Uh, yeah, bring it out. Bring it. Oh. Oh. It's the book of Romans, chapter 16 and verse 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. And that's what our elders and apostles have always been doing and known for doing. Got pointing out those false prophets, those who have uh, faulty doctrine and can lead you astray. Yep. It says, For they that are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And we have the apostles as a um, as a guide, as a beacon, to save us by their diligence, by their works, they're able to um, save us from uh, these other camps and these other people that speak false things, and we able to avoid them and stay on the right path. Because these men were set up by Yahweh Bashem al and, and through these men, and they speak the words of Yahweh Bashem al which is the Holy Spirit. Yeah, and you know, you got brothers out here that are teachers also, you know, brothers here in, 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 within this room, brothers around, you know, brothers from uh, the Men of Valor camp, mm -hmm. you know, and other different camps that teach the same doctrine that we teach, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, there's not just one or two or three or four prophets, there's a lot of prophets, you know, that the Lord has out here. You know, and every man get, it was given their portion. You know, you have those that can see. Remember, uh, Peter told you how we shared the disciples. Look, they're in your name, but they don't follow us. Should we forbid them? I said, no. You know, so the thing when the, the when you had men back then during time, right? What, what they were the the uh, men that were with Moses said, look. You know, they're they, they prophets. What did Moses say? Moses didn't say, you know, they're going off. He said, no, he said, I wish the most high that all of you were prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, it make the work that much more easier. You know, but eventually, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. You know, any other closing words? Uh, I got a scripture. Okay, okay. will you finish with that, bro? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, because a lot of these men, uh, um, you know, they're able, to, they're able to say these proud things because they don't have any fear. Right. They don't have anything pressing them to, to, to get right with the Lord. Right. Because they 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 profit and offer these these congregations that's under them, they 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 got you know worldly people, you know, and they congregations that have money that's 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 you know helping them, man. But but it is what it is, man. You know, uh, this is uh, Sirach, or Ecclesiasticus of Sirach eleven and verse twenty five. It says, "In the day of prosperity, there is a forgetfulness of affliction. Mm -hmm. You know, when a man is doing good, he's doing well. You know, he's, he doesn't have the fear of the Lord." On him, man. You know, when a man, when a man is 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 you know flourishing in health and you know and, and you know and he's getting massive amounts of money from this congregation of people that they don't care about. You know, these men are hirelings. They don't they don't care about the people that's under them. That's why they just teach anything, man. But clearly, this thing is bearing down upon us. They're saying it in the in the media now. You know, they're they're, into the, they're introducing everybody to the digital world. You know, they're talking about the banks are going to go digital, you know. So eventually it's going to come to the point where they, they're going to want, they, they, they've they already expressed what they want to do. They already expressed that they want to put this thing in us, okay. It says, and in the day of affliction, there is no no remembrance of prosperity. And that's what's coming. The day, the day of affliction is what's coming, you know. And, and these people that, that's making all this money off these people. Just taking anybody into their congregation so they can get the numbers 
so they can so they can look good on, on while they marching down the street. You know what I'm saying? So they can so they can have these fancy garments and horses and shit. You know, hey, when the, when when the day of affliction comes, then all of that's gonna be out the window. Then what you gonna have? You know, it says, for for it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death to reward a man according to his ways. It says the, the affliction of an hour maketh the man forget pleasure. You know, so the, the Lord is about to bring this affliction and all, all, all what these men have accumulated over the years is going to come to naught. And then it's going to be uh, 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 whether you was with the Lord or you wasn't. It's going to be whether you was a true believer or you wasn't. Mm -hmm. It's going to be whether you had the real doctrine of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh or you didn't. That's what we're coming down to. You know, and these people can't see past their bank accounts, past the, the money that they're bringing in from the congregation of, 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 of people that they're teaching these lies to. They can't see, they can, they're blinded by that, that shield of money. You know, so what's coming in now is the Lord is about to start removing all of that. You know, it says, that, uh, the affliction of an hour maketh a man forget pleasure, and in his end his deeds shall be discovered. Yeah, you know why? Because he's not going to make it. He's, he's, the Lord is going to kill him. The Lord is going to take his life. The Lord is going to bring him low. You know? The Lord is going to make public examples. The scriptures say what? Judgment shall begin at the house of God, man. Mm -hmm. So these men that are teaching these wayward doctrines, that are coming off on this bullshit, hey, 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 you know what? They're going to increase more and more because yeah. why? Because they shoveling, they own, they shoveling themselves in, in their own graves. Yeah. They're, 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 they're throwing dirt up And the dirt is coming on their head But they're still digging yeah. You know, and they're going to get swallowed up By that mess that they um, teach Yeah, because you got to mm -hmm. got, have both sides mm -hmm. I wish I said it is impossible But that offenses must come But we're talking about only offense coming mm -hmm. you gotta... No, that was, that was all that I had to say Yes, sir right, Anybody else have anything? Uh, one thing I was going to say about Esau He used the same tactics Always using flunkies of our people to, to to leave our people astray, man. Even to this day, man, they get, you know, like today they have rappers to get you to vote or to take the juice, and, and it's gonna be the same thing with this, this sea hill, man. That's the same shit they doing. It ain't no new thing under the sun. We we not ignorant of Satan's uh, Satan's devices, man. We know how he moves, man. We can see that this devil is just trying to lead our people hey, to uh, lead them astray. You know what I'm saying? So we know what it is, man. So those that don't. Hey, we're moving on, man. Turn it up. Anybody else? Anybody, somebody want to close it out? Uh, so, uh, Lord's Lord, I was edifying and exhorting. We're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Kakodash. And my honors to the elders and apostles of their millstone and rule well. Peace and salutations to the hope of the elect. Mm -hmm. Listen out this word in all sincerity and in truth. Shalom. Shalom. And honor to you teachers out there, too. Yeah, yeah. all you brothers, man. Shalom. Brothers, you have been coming to offer those elders.